Welcome to the Realmworks tutorial video series. In this series, we'll cover the basics you'll need to create any world you can imagine. Later videos will cover more advanced features. If you're new to Realmworks, you might want to check out the other introductory videos on this channel for a general overview before coming back here for a detailed tutorial. To follow along throughout the video series, you'll want to create a new realm and choose the Include Tutorial Content option. This will start your realm with all the same content as this tutorial video series, and we'll be using this content to demonstrate some features in later videos. You might notice that the tutorial content has a fantasy flavor to it. But don't worry, Realmworks can handle any genre you like. In later video series, we'll be exploring how to use Realmworks for other genres such as sci-fi, horror, modern settings, comic book settings, and more. In this video, we'll briefly walk through the main areas and layout of Realmworks. At the top of the screen, you'll see the ribbon bar, similar to many of your favorite productivity software products. You start in the Story Almanac. The Story Almanac is like an index to your story listing important people, places, events, and a whole lot more. Content elements in the Story Almanac are called Story Topics, or just Topics for short. Next is the Storyboard. The Storyboard is a visual tool that allows you to link content together, especially Story Topics. This is very useful for creating plot diagrams, so elements on the Storyboard are called Plots. Next is the World Almanac. Game worlds are vast places with an immense amount of background information, and the World Almanac is the place to put it. Like the Story Almanac, it lists important people, places, and events. Content elements in the World Almanac are called World Topics, or just Topics for short. The Mechanics Reference contains rules content called Mechanics Articles, or just articles for short. User notes are a personal scratch pad for jotting ideas, reminders, and anything else. There are other areas you can access on the ribbon bar, but these are the main areas that you'll spend the most time. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the navigation pane, listing and organizing the current topics in the Story Almanac. In the center is the Contents pane. The details of whatever we selected to view in the Navigation pane will appear in the Contents pane, so you'll use it often. On the right side is the Transitions pane, which primarily shows how content links together. That about does it for the quick overview. We're ready to start creating content. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the next video in the series.